welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry. Back on the road, gonna go help that underground railroad, folks. And, yeah, so we, like, I don't know, just found a random nest of Terminators or something. I went and emptied out all the junk I was carrying, and it turns out I got an upgraded gun to the one that was in this armor. What the heck is this about? Oh, another free power armor. Well, then. Um... Oh, that's not, that requires an advanced skill in unlocking stuff, and I don't have that. But hey, there's more free power armor. I should actually mark this on my map. So let me mark this. Come on. Come on. Alright, it's in the little black patch here beside the town. So I guess that's cool. Um, yeah, so we, like, followed that freedom trail a while ago. And we found out that it leads to, like, crazy people who are all about saving synths through the Underground Railroad away from the Institute or something. Frankly, I wouldn't have believed that that synths have anything even close to free will. But, you know, whatever. I guess there are Stranger Things. Where are you guys going? I just want to murder you. Come back. Whoa, what the hell? I'm shooting at me? There's gunshots coming from behind me. That is- Oh, I wanted to eat that. Oh well. Wait, there were gunshots coming from behind me. Who is shooting? Oh, this guy. Hey, friend, what- Whoa, Deacon. Deacon! Deacon, what are you doing? You're crazy! You're a crazy person, Deacon! What- No, seriously, what the fuck are you doing, Deacon? There's nothing over there. I always told you these people were crazy, right? Deacon? Deacon. Look at me when I'm talking to you, Deacon. Hey! What the hell are you doing? Do I have to go kill those things now? That I pissed them off? So you'll stop being a weirdo? I guess. Oh, here we go. Hi, Deacon. Is that you? Like the disguise? It's Wastelander Camo. You look like the same dude, just wearing hobo clothes. Asshole. Back off. Good, right? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't do one of my face swaps, too. Wait, what? You can do a face swap? You can change your face? I put myself under the knife every year or two. New face, new body, you know, the full makeover. It keeps our enemies guessing. Interesting. Well, stop that. Stop screwing with me. This is not for your benefit. It's to stay one step ahead of you know who, the Institute. So about the job. The railroad's only recently been using the old North Church. Our old base was underneath the Slocum's Joe. We had a pretty sweet setup until the Institute found us. Um, okay. Wait, was that the place I was just in, Slocum Joe's, that, that diner underground place? Huh. Your base was under a donut shop? It's a lot better than it sounds. Well, it was, until it was blown to hell. Huh, so what happened to there? What happened? Our HQ was strong, defensible. Heck, we thought it was secure. Inside a minute, the Institute troopers breached the doors and turned it into a shooting gallery. The survivors didn't have time to grab anything. So, we're getting something important we had to leave behind. Oh, we're going to the old base, so, okay. Let's find it then. Let's find it then. We gotta do one thing first. We got a tourist nearby. He or she has information on the base. So let's pump him for information Wait. before we dive in. The subtitle says intel. You said information, you lying game. Rail signs. Symbols we use to send messages to each other. If you like that, we got signs and counter signs, dead drops, oh. even a secret handshake. Alright, maybe the handshake never got. Okay, these guys are straight up nut jobs. That's fine, I guess. Let me switch out weapons, because I don't want to waste a lot of stuff for this laser gun. Because it's super fancy, and I like it having lots of ammo available, so, you know. Um, we got some ammo for the shotgun. That I could also drop on the ground like a derp, because, you know, that's... That's what the... That's what ever, all the cool people are doing. They're peeing their pants and dropping their shotguns. I feel like that's a euphemism for something, but who knows. 
So where is this tourist of yours? Are they up here? Probably. God knows they're always in some stupid location. Why not up on an old abandoned freeway? So what, we gotta look for like... A rail sign? So our tourist is up ahead. Let's keep going. Why even have a sign? Just put an arrow somewhere and tell people to look for it. That's stupid. That's... You know what's a real sign? Hobo signs. Hobos have a very intricate language of words. What the heck's going on here? A withered feral ghoul, huh? Well, I guess I got some blood samples out of this. So what does it say, Ding Dong? It's the same sign, why even stop? It's like 10 feet from the last one. You might as well just leave a, a pathway of crap. Oh shit. I got really powerful power punches in this armor. That's awesome. And also dog meat wants to get involved too. Oh, why even waste the ammo when I could just beat them to death? That's sweet. All right, I'm down to clown with that. Maybe I should buy, like, a decorative sword from that people. Again, this has all been right next to each other. Why even have this many? Just put one and tell them just to keep straight for a while. Oh, new Coca-Cola Quantum, sweet. Okay, bobby pins, telephone, postman uniform. You know, I guess the one thing that kind of works for the continuity of this game is having everything be quantumly powered. Just because that makes a lot more sense for why everything is still functional so far in the future. Um, okay. Or I could just see the person over here who isn't trying to kill us. That works too for me. You know. Once your friend gets here, how about we have a chat? Why don't I beat the shit out of you and you can tell me as you die? Does that sound good? Come on, janky face. What did the dog find? Hey. Hold on, the dog found a thing. Shut up for a minute. The dog is more important than you. What did you find, dog boy? Did you find nothing? Because I'd believe you if you said you found nothing. Oh, look. Hunt shotgun shells and a hunting rifle. Alright, that's pretty cool. Oh, and some random raider armor, alright. That's fine, I suppose. I don't really have anything to cook, so whatever. Wait, what's this? Is there- oh, I thought I saw a duffel bag. Never mind! Oh, thank God. Do you have a Geiger counter? Do you have a goddamn Geiger counter? Why would I have a Geiger count ca counter? Why do you need a Geiger counter? Is this place irradiated? Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, easy there. He meant to say, mine is in the shop. Are you serious with this? My heart almost burst out of my chest. Who the hell is he? HQ said they were sending one agent, not two. Sorry, I'm new. He's just showing me the ropes. All right. The wall is my witness. I thought I was dead. It's about goddamn time you headquarters bastards got here. Um, okay, so status update then. Tell me what's going on. I signed on for some light recon, but that little slocum's Joe of yours is crawling with goddamn chrome dome synth sons of bitches! The front's fortified to hell and back. They place mines all over the goddamn place. Oh, that's fun. Well... They have a minefield? Yeah, the mother of all minefields. I couldn't draw you a map if I tried. Well, that's useful. Well, thanks for that. I appreciate all you've done. I hope it helps. I really do. As soon as it's safe, I'm getting the hell out of here. So if you need anything else, you better ask soon. Alright. Well, that was exciting. Where'd Dingleberry go? Why are you all the way back in Narnia now? Why don't you just walk over here like, like a not-crazy person? Well, isn't Ricky just a ray of sunshine? <coughs> you think he's telling the truth? Yeah, probably. Speaking of truth, why did you lie to Ricky? My job in the railroad is intel. That job's easier if no one knows who I am. So, I lied. I do that. So you handled the talky talk and I got to watch from the sidelines. Go team us. 
Aha, uh -huh, well that's fun. Well, he's probably being honest. Unless he's a Cylon. He doesn't strike me as the dishonest type. Yeah, that's my read too. First rule in this business is never go against your gut. So, if we take him at his word, the front door has mines, synths, and probably other fun and exciting prizes. So, we're going in through the escape tunnel. Alright, let's take the tunnel then. The tunnel has got to be easier than a frontal assault. I mean, it makes sense that a secret base would have an escape tunnel, so whatever. I got you covered. Fine, let's go. What a ding dong. Um... What is it, below me? Oh, uh, whatever. So where am I going? I guess this general direction, why not? <laughs> the dog is freaking out, it's gotta run all the way back over there to catch up. LOL. Jesus, he's a Cylon! I kinda wanna kill him. He... Ew, that was different. I just turn around and there they are. Eh, uh, whatever. I'm overthinking it, clearly. Okay, what's in here while we're at it? Doesn't look like there's any bacon. Ah, uh, there's a little ammo. <coughs> That's some rad X. I do need that to go to the sea of being radioactive. Is that all that's over here? Is just a couple of derailed train cars? Looks like it. Alright, that's... That's fine. No, no, really, that's fine. Oh, good, we get to go in the poop tunnel. But of course. Why not, said the chupacabra. Why the f- Oh, and there's like a spooky light in here. You know, you'd think in the- If you wanted an escape tunnel, you wouldn't put a spooky light in it. Even with moss growing over the front, you can see that at night. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1s and 2s. So it's time you learn why we're here. We're retrieving a prototype developed by our good Dr. Carrington. Who? Dr. Carrington? Who's Dr. Carrington? All goes well. You'll meet him soon enough. All right. What can you tell me about the Gen 1s and 2s? The synths didn't start off as nigh-perfect copies of human beings. The Institute had to work up to that level of hubris. Gen 1s and 2s were stepping stones along the way. The railroad's not fully united on how we feel about them. Interesting. Well, I'm risking my neck here. I want to know what I'm risking it for. So I'll be straight with you. Although you're not going to like it, I have no idea what the prototype does. Oh, good. Us railroad agents are treated like mushrooms, kept in the dark and fed. Well, you get the idea. It's got to be important, though. Des wouldn't risk our. All right, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure that's something I give a crap about. So, how do we get through here? I can't get in this terminal, dinghy. Can I command you? We're in. The back entrance is safer, but be ready for Gen 1. Yeah, I can't activate your computer, you stupid. We're retrieving a prototype can't break developed the code. by our good Dr. Carrington. Security's too good. Um about that, I can't open up the terminal. Are you serious? I had to tell him to do that? That's so annoying. Well? Do it then. You wanna get in there? You don't wanna go do your job? I didn't think I'd ever see this place again. Deacon, would you open the door please? You useless sack. Hey, get out of the way, dog, so he can do his thing. This is taking a century because he his AI doesn't care. Well, the terminal's on at least. I'm gonna feed it some passwords. No. 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 Ah, missed one, you cocky bastards. Prototypes deeper inside. Alright, well, whatever. All right, so somewhere in this mess is going to be some, I don't know, Cylons? You know, them robots from Battlestar Galactica. 
I liked the original Battlestar Galactica a lot better. What's detecting me? Yep, I'm right here, buddy. Hey, friend. Oh, friend. Whoa, whoa, shh. Just settle down. I'm here to murder you. And the dog can murder your pet cockroach. That's fine. Okay. Wow, this guy's got food on him? I'm surprised it's still any good. Alright, whatever. This place is kinda poopy. It looks really not well kept. Probably why they got in here so easily. So let's equip some Molotovs. And this suppressed gun. Oh wait, I only have two... I only have two things for that. Well, next best thing is... where was it? I have this Tommy gun that's an armor penetrator. See the box in the center of that rail sign? Uh. There's a cache nearby. Looks like Maven managed to hide something before... Well, you know. Look around. Look around for a cache of goodies? Alright, um... Probably not in here, it's probably up past that sign. So, up we go. Oh, hello. There's goodies in here. That's not really hidden, I should mention. It's actually kind of a crap out spot. What? Who sees me? Hello, synths. You like grenades and stuff, right? Whoa, shh. Fine, just relax, Sins. Let it- let the murder wash over you. If there's a courser in here, I'm just going to kill it. That's what I'm going to do. Because I'm not stupid, sir. Oh, I can pickpocket him. How cute. No, really, that is adorable. Alright, um... Probably should turn on a flashlight, while we're gonna be rustling about in the muck. Fusion cells... Bottle caps... Fusion cell... Lots of robot bits, that is for sure. Huh. Power coils... More auto turret debris, but they have like the poopy rank 1 auto turret, so I'm not surprised people got murdered. There's some good stuff in here to be had, if you're willing to look for it. Hmm. What's detecting me? Is it this asshole? Probably. Alright. Um... This turret's fucked. Let me see here. Another dead body. Alright, that's fine. Let's activate the terminals. Turret control. Uh, activate. Alright, sweet. Hopefully I don't have to fight them. Because they've been hacked or something. I guess not. Oh, there's a lovely lady corpse though. Well, the first-gen synths certainly aren't very good at what they do, that's for sure. Oh, hi. How about that, synth boy? Do you like getting punched in the face? Because I certainly don't. I'm glad we have a, a shared interest in not getting punched in the face. How convenient. Alright. Oh, yeah? Yeah, buddy? There's no one even in here. It's just a door. Alright, maybe I can open this. Um, fries? No. Sneak? Oh, that was it. Would you look at that? Security door. Uh, open the security door. Why, thank you. Alrighty. Oopsie. I killed a guy. Am I a bad boy, mommy? Of course I am. Oh, am I out of ammo for this? Come on now. That's just being stupid. Uh, this does enough damage, and it's got a- it's got a thing. Alright, he's dead. 
Oh, the dog was fighting one of them. How cute. All right. That one's turned into goop. Oh, wow, this is like an old abandoned intel facility. Oh, that's cool. Um, I'm gonna cut her out here for right now. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I've been your host, Larry. Join me again next time for more of this sinister, um, fallout shenanigans going on. Toodles!